WWE Universe God Mode has just been engaged. We are truly experiencing greatness on a different level. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns. I've been at this table for decades and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right. A record-breaking champion. An unbeatable competitor. That's why every time Roman competes, it is a history-making moment. The LWO is in the house. It's cool until you say it. And his opponent, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Escobar is supremely skilled, taking his cues from Mexico's greatest lucha legends. Yeah, he's even battled those same legends and came out on top. The battle-tested leader of the LWO, Santos Escobar, knows he has what it takes. Well, this gentleman wanted to step foot on the island of relevancy. Well, here he is, and I promise it's going to take everything he has if he wants to make it off the island. And Roman Reigns has made it clear that he doesn't just want his opponents in the WWE Universe to acknowledge him. He wants the whole world to. Which is why I acknowledged him with a text first thing this morning, Cole. That's just what you need to do to stay on the Tribal Chief's good side. Otherwise, as we'll surely see here, you're going to get stacked and smashed. You're either on the island of relevancy or you're in Reigns' way. I'll say this much for you, Corey. You are certainly a pragmatist. And in the opposite corner is second-generation superstar Santos Escobar. Escobar wants to shoot that heavy firepower right out of the gate. Escobar's cold-blooded. A mercy from the top. Top and down. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Insulting. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. Crank in the head. Worried look on the face of Escobar. Reigns is picking up steam. Merciless move. Cover! Shoulders are down! Gets the shoulder up after one. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Reigns plans in motion. From the top, diving double axe handle. Look at this, just unloading. Santos got a pretty good cut from that one, too. Oh, watch this display of power. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. Escobar finally creates some more offense for himself. Yeah, but Escobar needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. I think the fuse has been lit here, guys. Yeah, Saxton, now we'll see if this is dynamite or a duck. 
Not time to expect victory yet. Lining up Reigns. Opportunities like this rarely open up. Oh, and Roman fights back. Snapmare delivered by Reigns and a... He steers clear of contact. With the counter. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Shifts it back onto him. Snap kick right on point. Guys, they're getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Just going all out with every blow. What a barrage of stomps. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. He's back into the ring. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your pump. Maybe that will shut him up. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. But he thinks he has it. Gets the shoulder up. Very close. The T clearly set again. The better part of that. Vaulting plancha. Incredible. No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained big rewards. Right to the face. My God. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Into the ring now. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top! You gotta be kidding me! Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Saved by a leg sweep there. Vicious right forearm. German suplex! Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us! He grew tired of his smug attitude. He'll take things into the ring. Showing him what a real alpha male looks like. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Reigns hits it! Reigns put his stamp on this one. Looking for the victory! Two count! Hard-earned victory for this superstar in what was an incredible matchup. And are we going to get... There we go. Some good sportsmanship in the end. But also but mutual respect. And that scene just warms my heart. one start this is going to be good this is a match she has long been asking for she is more than ready to compete tonight where there's smoke there's alba fire a woman who says she will let her flames guide her path to the top. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire! Battle tested, including reigns as NXT UK Women's Champion and NXT Tag Team Champion as well. But we have only seen the beginning of how bright fire can burn. Looks to scorch the earth of WWE and burn the women's division to the ground. Her ancestors have demanded a sacrifice, and Alba is more than happy to deliver.
Oh, the fire has declared that her spiritual alchemy is complete, and she is ready for battle. And she's ready to unleash catastrophic outcomes on the entire women's division. The imposing aerial threat, Alba Fire, looking for a big win here tonight. Already a world-traveled competitor, Fire possesses an incredible array of innovative daredevil. And into the count. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Ow. Get back here. Leg Lariat. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Kick right to the face. Oof. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Taking this outside. This could be good. Dakota Kai can be lightning quick when given the chance. Corey, do you think Kai should rely on her speed here, or should she consider a different strategy tonight? I think Kai has mastered the stuff. Uh -huh. Wow, cross body! And the threat of Alba Fire neutralized there. Yeah, Kai displaying a higher level of aggression. Relentless attack from Dakota here. And that's Kai reveling in the fact that she sped up this match. If she keeps this up, this one could be over soon. Great strength being shown here. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Insulting. A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. Ooh, stinging kick. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Oh, what a kick. Ooh, sharp kick. Stiff kick. How's that for a counter? Ooh, to the back of the neck. There's press and... Luthes Press! I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Suplex! Using the ropes. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Whoa. Removing the turnbuckle pad. With the goalie bomb. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. And Dakota's confidence was just kept in check. And Alba got bottled up there. She scores big with the counter. Fire scaling the turnbuckles. Referee's count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. From the top. Whoa, look out. No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body and gets tossed back into the mat. Dakota is struggling to defend herself. Kai's having trouble getting her bearings. Huge uppercut, practically out of nowhere. Oof, but here comes the fire. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Very effective. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. She's starting to drag a little bit. Alba wanting to continue her aggressive attacks now. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. Alba stringing together a stockpile of offense. And I don't think anything can stop fire now. Got the head scissors on. Oh, elbow to the face. 
If this works, it could change the course of the match. From the top, Dakota wards off the attack. Dakota Kai. Crucifix chokehold. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna tap. And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's gotta get back to the ring now. We all know Dakota Kai. Kick to the ribs. Kyle Proctor. Will that overtake Alba? Two. I'm not quite sure what. What? Whoa, 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 Why whoa, did they. Wait. No, no, no. So, somebody stop this. Well, the official can. He just went hightailing. Oh, oh there, there we go. Some help. At the last possible second. Thank goodness. Yeah, that could have got ugly quickly. to deliver on that promise. condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. A truly dazzling aerialist, Cruz del Toro moves with an uncanny agility and speed. Most opponents actually have a hard time just keeping track of him. Yeah, Del Toro soars off the ropes and is quick as lightning on his feet. He's so comfortable in the ring that he's able to move with incredible confidence. Once Del Toro takes off, it's best to clear out, or you're the one who's in for a rough landing. 
And across the ring, we have Angelo Dawkins. He's meaner, more focused, and more dangerous than ever before. We'll be looking right, to end back. things here with the Cobra Clutch. Fading quickly. Oh, he is determined not to lose this match right now. Oh, right to the shoulder. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out of That's it. That's one way to get out of it. On the button with a low drop kick. Del Toro digging deep, trying to psych himself up. And that will bring some frustration to Cruz. Yeah, Dawkins put a little extra oomph into that one. The sheer force of that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones. What's going to be the key for Angelo Dawkins if he wants to grab the win here tonight? Dawkins needs to utilize the full potential of his size and power. He's We're going to finish it off. It's huge. Big splash. Oh, what a DDT. Dawkins with impressive moves. Dawkins showing his power thus far, using all of his size to deliver some impactful offense. Oh, geez. Nasty kick to the face. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, and he answers back on Cruz. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. Their competition can really bring out the best in people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. Hooked up in the corner. Exploder suplex. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Oh. This could be it. Cover for the win. A kick out at two. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Taking hold of Del Toro here. Sky high from Dawkins. Dawkins could be looking to end this. There's two. Here is your winner, Angelo Dawkins! And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. That newfound edge Dawkins has certainly helped him get this result. Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight will hand out a beatdown to anybody, any night of the week. It doesn't matter to him. For years, people tried to tell L.A. Knight he needed to step up his game to get to the WWE. Well, now Knight's letting people know that they need to step up to his level. Just look at the size of Bobby Lashley. Truly all from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. This 
this is how you make an entrance, carrying yourself with the utmost poise and pride. Lashley holds himself to the highest standards. It's propelled him to multiple world titles and main events. For nearly two decades, Lashley has been pure and total dominance personified. He's at the top of the food chain and won't let anyone forget it. Jimmy Uso is on his own and he is the one. And representing the bloodline. From San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso! We've seen many sides of Jimmy Uso throughout the years, but he has never been more dangerous. Jimmy Uso now with a killer instinct we've never seen before. But you have to wonder if Jimmy is perhaps facing more adversity than ever. He's had documented issues with his brother, with his family. He might be a man without a bloodline at this point. This match just got a lot more handsome. Yeah, a man who's got good looks but a bad attitude. Well, Saxton, guess which one of those matters more in life? And representing Legato El Fantasma from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds, Angel! A third-generation superstar, a former cruiserweight champion, and the biggest heartbreaker since HBK. Yeah, a truly lethal Lothario. for this Lothario to get lethal. It's going to be an uphill battle tonight for each of these superstars in this fatal four-way. All set for action, and we're kicking it off with L.A. Knight, Bobby Lashley, Jimmy Uso, and Angel. And there is the potential for some unlikely alliances in a Fatal 4 win like this, but at the end of the day, it is every competitor for themselves, and there will be only one winner. Uh-oh. Looking for the suplex! No, uh -oh. no, no! Superstar has the odds against them entering a fatal four-way. What's the best way to overcome those odds, Corey? Well, there's a few options, Cole. You can lay in wait for a moment to capitalize, or you could power through and take everyone on head first. The most important part is breaking up any pinfalls or submissions. Placed in the corner. And full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. And that was an efficient display. Can he do it here? 
He got close there. It could be do or die time. And he rolls out to create some slam. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. He's cover, cover. Meanwhile, it's Jimmy. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Oh, my God. Power slam. Broken up, and the match continues. That's teamwork. A big kick to the gut, and a thunderous forearm to follow. Suplex, no! Driven down! Caught with a clothesline. Clothesline! Good lord! He can end it here! Jimmy Uso with an easy kick out! He is definitely struggling to keep him down at this point. Kick to the lower back. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, a little fire from Angel there. It's a very perfect drop kick. Lastly, creates an opening with a counter. Up for the electric chair, down for the drop. Oh, look at the the pump head. But not enough yet. Already well placed elbow way on the mark. Nice drop kick, so precise. Oh, and a knee to the face. He thinks he has it. Just kicks out. We'll see if this is the start of the rally. Just pure dominance. Look at this. Snap suplex. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Oh, He's absorbed. Is it enough here? And now here's Jimmy Uso. Oh, my gosh. Bobby has this in hand now. Yeah. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. And an almighty pose down from the multiple-time WWE Champion. Solid contact from Bobby Lashley. And we just saw some serious offense. <laughs> Snapping the neck for the victory here. Now we see Knight. He's taking this to the floor now. Oh. Ah, oh, kick. Nasty kick. Ooh, targeting the leg there. And that was an effective attack, guys. His opponent is just overwhelming him here. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right about now. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Looks like Bobby is locked in on his opponent now. Ah, oh, big boot. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Piercing the throat. And that was an efficient. 
ancient form of offense with that move. What a blow. Here he goes for the win. No, he gets the shoulder up. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Bang. Snap suplex. Getting him into the corner. Hits him with the counter. And Lashley on the receiving end of some rocking offense. Yeah, this fatal four-way has certainly taken its toll, Michael. Take off. Look at the height. Cover. Two. Stopping the refs count at two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Oh, we're gonna grind the features off their face. Oh, right across the top, bro. Ah, oh, takedown. And now punches right. Good yeah. night. Cinching in the hurt lock. It's cinched in deep. I have no, oh, this one should have been over. But he breaks the hold. Hoist it up. Down. Will it be? I think so. He stops the count. Meanwhile, it's Lashley. The Almighty showing no fear, no intimidation. Belly to back suplex coming. No! Wow! From behind. Back suplex. And set right into the corner. Stops whatever their opponent was planning. They're going to turn the tables in spectacular fashion from across the ring. My God. Angel with the wing clipper. Is there any air left in Lashley? Is it enough? The cover. That elite level of conditioning is paying off for Bobby Lashley once again. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. This fight has to be seen to be believed. Who will prevail? True greats are at their best when they're back. Sitching in the hurt lock. And he breaks the hold. Boom. Ooh. And a heinous attack to the knee. Put it in a position now. Ooh, that's a shot to the throat. Does he have him here? And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. And Knight with a critically timed maneuver. Knight has certainly taken his lead. Oh, and he breaks the hold. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Gut buster. Across the shoulder. Filthy. T.O. plants him. Nicely done. The Almighty showing his dominance with the Dominator. I can see up to the rafters and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Breaks up the count. Now looking at Angel. Oh, what a clothesline! Knight is fixed on him now. LA Knight kicked to the gut. LA Knight with the BFT. Knight about to end this fight. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Up they go. There he goes, right into the corner. Jimmy gets intercepted. Man. Sitching in the hurt. LA Knight with big, big win. Top rank three competitors here tonight. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. What an experience.
explosive fatal four-way. And as the dust continues to settle, here's your winner. It's an impressive feat to overcome the chaos and unique challenges of a four-way match. An absolute in-ring phenom. Already so much success and limitless expectations for the future. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. One half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Braun Breaker. He has been absolutely dominant in NXT. Beat every big name that tried to take his throne. Yeah, I see his WWE career following the same pattern, Michael. Cole, do you realize what a win would mean for this gentleman tonight? Oh my God, you could make your career in one night if you knock off the legend. and as a legitimate claim, I believe, to be one of the greatest of all time. They use a thousand cliches to describe Rey Mysterio, and they're all true. The heart of 10 men, the skill of 20. Fact is, there are very few people who possess the unique combination of tangible and intangible as Rey Mysterio. They should hang his mask in the damn rafters of every arena in the world, as far as I'm concerned. No argument here, Corey. No argument here. And with all that said, we cannot undersell Braun Breaker in this one, guys. This is a superstar who always pushes himself to a whole new limit. So we should be in for something special here. Yeah, I suppose there is something special about dogged intensity, Saxton. Not that you'd know anything about being intense or special. Going up top! Soaring! Whoa! What a landing! Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. And Rey Mysterio connected nicely right there. Rey Mysterio is probably the purest example of it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. All heart, all resilience. And it's done Mysterio quite well in his legendary sports entertainment career. Mysterio is all fired up. gets tossed into the ring. Oh, targeter. And will this be it? A kick out before the referee can get to one. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Shoulder to the gut. Sunset flip. Sunset flip powerbomb. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. And the DDT. Oh, yeah. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. The power on the Falcon Arrow. 
setting foot in the ring now. Breaker making it loud and clear for his opponent tonight. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Solid punch. Oof, man, what a hit. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And that threw a wrench in Mysterio's plan. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Provide an escape plan. Kick to the gut. Set up. Yes, Destroyer connects. Goes into the pin. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. So resilient. Oh, what a Mayorana. Wow, that one busted Brana. It takes a certain level of athletic. Look out. Rock splash by Rey Mysterio. Breaker doesn't know where he is. Man, that was some win tonight. But I believe they could be hurt. Now, even the winner looking worse for wear after a brutal matchup. I got a feeling this superstar is going to be feeling the effects from this matchup for a long, long time. And all we can do in this moment is hope that the damage is not too severe. all-time tag teams. But Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. Remain calm and do not allow AJ to get under your skin. That's what this gentleman has to do. Yeah, because the moment he allows that to happen, AJ's won this match. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. And his opponent, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the OC. A high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. You gotta be steady, take your time in the match, stay focused, because Orton will not hesitate to strike. 
And when Orton strikes, your day might be over. This rivalry represents two completely different paths to the pinnacle of sports entertainment. AJ Styles was a journeyman, a world traveler, leader of an infamous faction in Japan. Randy Orton, a third generation competitor who was born and bred to be a WWE superstar. The bottom line is Randy Orton feels AJ Styles does not deserve the accolades he's received since coming to WWE. To no one's surprise, the Viper believes such praise should be given to him. Tonight is AJ's chance to defeat Orton and shut him up for good. Up high, Tommy Crossbody! Throwing all costs into the win. And AJ might have to adjust those big aspirations he has for himself after taking that hit. Yeah, Orton showed there that he still hasn't lost his predatory instinct. Attack from behind. Neckbreaker. Ah, look at this. Just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. And the phenomenal AJ Styles. And here we go. Locked in. It's locked in. And it oh, just slipped underneath. And just like that, he's out of the hold. Orton, Explorer, Suplex from Orton. And that will halt your styles at this junction. Yeah, the longer this fight goes on, the more Orton's not going to make it easy on him. What now? Kick right to the gut! Don't ruin this 
Saxton. There is no electrical current in the world quite like when the great one arrives. He cannot afford to let Logan Paul get under his skin. He's got to keep his cool, even if Logan Paul is somewhat obnoxious. Gentlemen, stand up and cheer this social media icon. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Logan Paul. We knew he was a social media phenomenon, but I don't think any of us ever imagined the aptitude Logan Paul has for sports entertainment. We've seen Logan Paul take on the top names in boxing. We've seen Logan Paul take on the top names in WWE. Logan Paul is clearly fearless. Well, he's facing one of the most dominant competitors of the Attitude Era, The Rock. Any era for that matter, Cole. Ladies and gentlemen, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. The Rock set for action here tonight. Yeah, and it looks like we're about to see some boots to asses here in this one, Cole. The Great One is here to remind everyone just how dominant he is within the squared circle, not just out of it. We're in for quite the show with this one, folks. And he should be thanking Logan Paul for this match. He's about to get a lot more social media followers courtesy of the social media megastar. The physical ability of The Rock has to be weighed heavy on his opponent's mind going into this match. That's true, Cole, but you can't lose focus on the task at hand. You have to be prepared physically as well as mentally to take on The Rock. If you focus on one without the other, The Rock has you beat before you even step into the ring. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. This match grinded him down a little. Yeah, Paul looked like a natural with that one. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Float over. Oh, and he went boom with a DDT. Oh, the Rock, an arm wrench. DDT! And now he's looking for safety outside the ring. There's nothing wrong with this. This is a good opportunity to recalibrate. Holy, meet the barricade. Stopped in their tracks with a knee to the gut. The Rock reminding us all once again that we are watching the most electrifying man in sports entertainment at work. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, targeting the stomach. And landing with the double axe handle. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Getting back into the ring. He's back in so close to a count out. You do not want to lose that way. Fine buster! Down hard. We got a cover. Win 
highlight to his career. Here is your winner. Logan Paul with a taste of defeat here tonight. This was not what Logan Paul had planned for tonight. I hope we don't have to call off the victory party. Wait, I didn't hear about any party. here in WWE, Michael. Bianca Belair, a former Royal Rumble winner, a multi-time women's champion as well. It's starting to look like there truly aren't any limits that Bianca Belair can't reach. Hey, we know Charlotte will do anything and everything to win. She's got to have that same mentality here tonight. We are about to bear witness to the queen. Listen, here is a truly generational talent. There's no doubt about that. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. She is a game changer, a trailblazer, and perhaps the greatest woman to ever set foot in a WWE ring. And with all of Charlotte's accomplishments, some say she's already a living legend. She's had rivalries with Lynch and Rousey and revolutionized the industry. When your last name is Flair, competing is like breathing. And the Queen has built an empire. No false bravado, always personal, always physical. Yeah, and always maintaining supreme confidence and savage ferocity. deny the greatness of Charlotte Flair. She always finds a way to handle her business. And she shows why she's the most ruthless and dominant woman in sports entertainment history. Always guaranteed to have a vicious plan of attack. Most are playing checkers while the queen is a grand master at chess. We're about to see arguably the strongest, the smartest, the fastest woman in this division today. And you won't get much argument from me, Michael. Bianca is a truly exceptional athlete who uses her abilities to accomplish incredible things in the ring. You're always wondering what jaw-dropping feat she'll pull off next. And if Bianca has her way, tonight can become another big win. But she's not taking on any ordinary opponent. Charlotte Flair is wrestling royalty. She's crowned herself as one of, if not the, greatest women's champion of all time. This division wouldn't be where it is today without the regal presence of Charlotte. No denying Charlotte's incredible abilities, but I would emphasize you correctly said crowned herself. Not everyone recognizes Charlotte as the queen. They just see her as someone who protects her own interests at any moral cost. Corey, what would you say Charlotte needs to do to come out on top tonight? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Charlotte's accomplishments in WWE run a mile long, and that's because of everything she brings to the ring. Her athleticism, her nastiness, her aggression. She's always a dominant force because of those traits. Oh 
might take her head clean off her shoulders. And the pressure on Bianca continues to mount. Such athleticism, nastiness, and aggression. Flair's trademark traits. Uh-oh. Way too far. Oh, diving moonsault. Cover. Two. Just after two. She is still fighting. Still keeping this going. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. She's taking things to ringside. This is an unyielding attack from Charlotte. Bianca needs to figure things out. And Belair taking on even more damage from that attack. That's the sort of merciless attack we've come to expect from Charlotte. Oh, quite an effective counter. Bianca managing to get some control back now. She got tired of being pushed around. Now wants to push the advantage. The EST looking to remind the world why she is the strongest. Look at the power. And a squat. Another ridiculous strength. She can end it here. Not even a one count there. Just looking for ways to wear out her opponent. And a standing moonsault. Sure was pretty, but we don't judge matches on style points. Somehow, some way. Not the fall, the shoulders down. manages to roll the shoulder out. No celebrations yet. Raped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Bianca with a standing shooting star. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Belair looking to wrap this one up. And Belair gets beat to the punch. Ooh! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Charlotte Flair sizing up her opponent. There's a handspring. Handspring. Close line. Charlotte with a picture perfect maneuver right there. Proving she is so much more than just hype. This battle rages on. Big elbow. Gets out of there in a hurry. Dominating shoulder tackle. Bianca telling her opponent, come on. Nasty chop delivered by Charlotte. Followed by natural selection. Did Charlotte just oh. end this? It wasn't enough. She kicked out. Underestimate Bianca Belair at your own peril. She just... Oh, Charlotte Flair! Can she bridge into the figure eight? And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! She's looking for the win. Win! A big win! That took a huge effort. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair! Another victory in the books for Charlotte Flair. Certainly not the outcome Bianca was aiming for. But knowing Belair, she won't let this discourage her for long.
is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! She's won the women's tag team titles. She's competed at WrestleMania. And you know what? It's kind of nice to see Tamina finally getting her flowers. Well, Tamina strikes me as the kind of woman who will take those flowers and smash you over the head with them. One of the most dangerous competitors the women's division has ever seen, EO Sky. And representing Damage Control from Tokyo, Japan, the WWE Women's Champion, EO Sky. EO is not happy with merely defeating your opponent. She wants to be the cause of their downward spiral. EO is done waiting for her opportunity. Now she's slaying whoever crosses her path and taking all the accolades in the process. A woman who calls Rey Mysterio her inspiration, she is well on her way to becoming the Rey of the women's division. Well, Ray would never stoop to the levels EO Sky has to to get to the top. Before touching down here in WWE, EO Sky was a megastar in Japan, where her aerial abilities grabbed her no shortage of attention and titles. Her high-flying and high-impact offense puts EO on another level. When she sees a vulnerable target, she won't hesitate to climb the ropes and hit them with a devastating attack. Yeah, EO is kind of like a heat-seeking missile. Once she's in the air, all you can do is brace for impact. She can't take her eyes off Tamina. Tamina is a physical specimen who specializes in launching hellacious attacks. We know how dangerous Tamina is. I'll make this simple so everyone understands. Tamina is ready to bust her up. Did you hear that impact? Oh, low drop kick right on the patella. Hoping to compromise that knee joint completely. It seems obvious, but here's the best piece of advice I can give for taking on EO Sky. Don't allow her to climb the ropes and take off. You have to keep her out of the air at all costs. To the sky. Oh, flattening the opposition. Off into the pin. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure up. Seated drop kick. Uh-oh. Look at this. Look at that the torque of the leg. Oh, leg breaker. Watch out. Suicide dive! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. One, Delivering nasty stomps. And the momentum's clearly against Tamina now. Yeah, Io is really remaining the aggressor here. Uh-oh, clearing off the announce table! Oh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not gonna be pretty! I don't wanna see this happen. Multiple stops. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Tamina showing how much punishment she can withstand before dishing it back tenfold. Tamina hoping to start a rush of her own with that attack. Oh! And Io had no answer there for her opponent. Toss back into the ring. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Flying. Splash. Looking for the victory. Two count. No, she kicks out. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. The genius of the sky showing off a little bit for the folks on the ground. Just disrespectful. Yeah. 
And she's stunned to the corner. Handspring splash. Measured kick to the vertebrae. And Sky stringing together some good offense. Tamina has to devise a new plan here. From the top. Look out below. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Turning the tables there. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And she slides her back to the mat. Stiff headbutt. Tamina is fired up and wants this crowd to know it. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Gets out of there in a hurry. Springboard. Oh, straight to the floor! Paying the price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. Goodness gracious! Hoisting their opponent up. The Canadian back. Trying to slip out, she did it! Back into the ring. Boom! What a close lock. Cover! Is it enough? And a quick kick out. I can't believe the ref didn't even get to one. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Not the hair, anything but the hair. Just dropped her like she was nothing. Io can't seem to gain the upper hand here. I love what we're seeing here. She's trying to slow Io down and keep her from taking flight. Tamana, she's thinking big. From the top. Double axe handle connects. She scurries out of there. Stomping down. She's going up. Top rope here. Blast off. Eo Sky with an over the moon salt. Tamita's in crisis mode. Two. That's it. Eo Sky gets it done. Here is your winner, Eo Sky. What a win. For EO Sky. I sit here right now flabbergasted. Tamina just got overpowered.